So the cat is almost completely out of the bag now. Back in 2019, I had this idea uh, for my own campervan festival weekend. And in my head, it was always called Terrible Fest. Then since then, COVID happened and all that kind of stuff, and it got pushed on the back burner. But always in my head, I had Terrible Fest in my head, wanting to be a thing. Now, I said it out loud. I thought it. So that means I needed to make it happen. It took a long time. It took five years to get anywhere with it. But... It is finally happening. There is no doubt about it. Terrible Fest is coming. The reason why I want to do it is because I want a bit of an alternative to the normal, um, not that there's anything wrong with normal van life festivals or anything. I'm just wanting to do my own take on that. <sighs> Mainly live music orientated. So live bands, uh, rock bands, rock and roll bands, indie bands, that kind of thing but also with some DJs and stuff doing other bits and bobs around, but mainly it's centered around live music. It's more trying to be more of a music festival than anything else, but it is camper van, van life, motorhome orientated. <clears throat> we've got an amazing venue. We've been to look at the venue um, a few weeks ago. I agreed a deal on that. It is so good. It's got, it's, it's basically a campsite. So it's got showers, it's got toilets, it's got all that business, uh, but we're gonna be hiring the place out. Uh, it has an event arena, which is a place in the middle for that. It's quite enclosed, so it's not spread out like a lot of complaints I've heard about other van festivals. Everything's in one space. It has got a theme, which kind of accidentally happened, but it's now a circus theme weekend. So there'll be opportunities to dress up, learn stuff to do with circuses and that, get to meet circus performers, as well as mainly the live music element of it. I cannot wait almost a full year now to, to to arrange it, sell ticket, get bands in, all that kind of stuff. We've already got a few bands lined up. We've got entertainment lined up. We've got trade stalls lined up. We've got all of that stuff. The bar is reasonably priced. Tents, daytime entertainment, um, other attractions as well. So it's going to be like your, your normal van life festival with a few tweaks um, and them tweaks are based off complaints that I've heard about other festivals trying to iron those little creases out and get it all working right. So what do I need from you? Um, if you are a trader, get in touch. We're still looking for, I think there's a limited number, but I don't know what that number is at the minute, but as many trade stalls as possible because we want to make it, you know, some in there for people. So main sponsors for the event. So we're having a limited number of 10. Uh, and that main sponsor, main company will be on all the flyers from, and the earlier you can get in on that, if you have got a company that wants to advertise as a main sponsor, you're gonna be on all the flyers. So the earlier you can get in that, the more advertising you're gonna get. So you're essentially gonna get a year's worth of advertising for 500 quid, uh, which, is, which is still a low price for a main sponsor of an event. We're trying to keep costs down as much as possible to get more people on board. <sighs> so, your main sponsor will be on all the flyers. Uh, it will have banners up at the event. You'll get a reduced rate on a trade stand if you want to have a trade stand there as well. You'll be featured on all merchandise and all that kind of stuff as well. So that that's a good opportunity if anybody has got a business that wants to advertise. What else are we looking at? So the, again, the main thing is it's around music and uh, around live music as well. Uh, we are family orientated, so we've got stuff for the kids during the day, constant entertainment through the day. So the, the rough plan at the moment is ordinary people would get there Friday, I don't know, from lunchtime. Ordinary people get there Friday from lunchtime uh, and stay until Sunday afternoon at some point. So Friday night, we'll have some entertainment on in the evening. Saturday, entertainment through the day and through into the evening. And then Sunday, it'll probably be a bit quieter. Um, probably not a right lot on because people will start to be packing up and going. Cut. So I'm gonna post the flyer up here. Whoop. Um, as you can see, circus themed, it's very cool, very, Rock and roll, and I'm excited about it. It's been, like I said, it's been a long time coming, long time um, in my head. So to be able to put it down on paper and then actually get the, that ball moving, we've, we've got a lot of it organized already and we are a year away. So because it's, got, because it's got a year to go, we can really iron out a lot of things and get a lot of 
stuff. Right, I'm, I know I'm waffling now, but this wasn't a planned video. I just wanted to get it out. It's, it's, this has all come a bit sooner than expected. Uh, terriblefest.com is the website. On the website currently, at the moment, as you see this, you can sign up as a trader. You can sign up as a main sponsor. Tickets are not available just yet, but they will be available very soon. Friday the 13th, if this video hasn't already gone out, Friday the 13th is when tickets will start to be available. I really appreciate all your support and I really appreciate you getting involved and joining us on this journey. Again, the earlier you can get all this sorted, the better it is. Um, the earlier you can sign up, the better. The earlier you can buy tickets, the better. There's a possibility further down the line, uh, in a few months time when we've got other things organized that we might have an early entry ticket also, which will be um, available at a later date so that you can arrive on the Thursday and have an extra night camping. I'm not sure about Sunday night yet. I don't think we need to go that far, but there's a possibility of having the, th the Thursday night as an early entry as well. Um, but again, keep your eye out for that. I'll constantly be updating you on everything. Um, We've got about space for about 500 vans, and I don't expect to have 500 vans. The main thing is that this is the first one of its kind, um, and the first year, we will just see how things go. Second year, hopefully, if first year is a success, we'll, it'll be bigger and better, but we've got to you know, stay humble, keep the first year compact, a bit smaller, a bit more easy going, and then listen to your feedback afterwards and what you did and didn't like about it and all that kind of stuff. So. We're gonna. We're all in this together. You lot out there. We're, we're, it's, this is going to be a learning curve for us all. But hopefully, we can figure out how to make the perfect camper van event. Uh, I know there's a lot of cool camper van events out there, but after these events, I hear a lot of complaints and people moaning about this, that, and the other. So if we can get it all dialed and sorted, I think we'll be onto a winner. So terriblefest.com. Go have a look now. Get familiarise yourself with the brand and all that, and the, the way it looks and you know, if you're a trader or a sponsor, get get that sorted quick as possible. I'll keep you updated as soon as I know anything else, but appreciate it. Appreciate you sticking by, um, and we'll on, move on to the next big thing in the terrible franchise. <laughs> terrible franchise, what a corporate name. See you soon, bye, Felicia.